First dinner today is at this place called Donga Muchimhue. And they've been making the same dish for 60 years. Yeah, I think they're doing something right. A lot of locals here, around here, as we always do, have told us, we check around to see. They said that this is one of the best places. This is where we're going to go today. Ah, Muchim Hue. It's a great cold dish for a hot summer day like today. So Muchim Hue, in this case, is mostly lightly blanched squid. So it's still pretty much raw, but it's just cooked enough to give it a nice bite. Mmm, a pungent dish, a little bit of spicy sauce, a little bit sweet, tiny little bit, just enough to balance the acidity in there. And there is some cabbage in there too, and a little bit of this vegetable, which is called minari. In English, that's a water drop wort. Got some good kind of grassy, herby notes to it. So how do you eat this? Best way to eat it is like locals do, wrap it up in this crispy little dumpling wrapper that they fried in order to get it crispy. Of course, that's why they fried it. Put some of this inside of your crispy wrapper, because this is the vehicle you're gonna use to get this from the plate into your mouth without getting your hands all messy. All right, there's the wrap. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Crispy on the outside, a little bit of chew on the inside. It's spicy, it's pungent, it's delicious, and most importantly is it's cold and refreshing on today's summer day. Excellent choice for a noon meal. Back to the daytime Salmun Shijang. Now, why are we here during daytime? Because it's actually most famous for daytime. There is so much food here. There's so many snacks and dishes and all kinds of restaurants and street food and anything you could want. So much stuff to try. Also, it's the home to my favorite bibim naengmyeon, which are spicy cold buckwheat noodles that have a little egg on top and some other stuff. Favorite one is here and a few surprises at that restaurant as well. So, where do you want to come in to get your bearings straight? I come into the Dong Imun, which is the east gate, east gate number one. You'll see the big sign here, and then we can start walking in and get to the best part of the market. Hey, <laughs> Oh. Okay, yeah, 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 my job, my job, my job. Three forty five in the afternoon and I have eaten nothing today. Oh, I'm so hungry. Why am I so hungry? Because I'm saving all of the room in my stomach to have food at my friend's restaurant. This is the restaurant right here, and that's my friend. He is a 
spectacularly good chef and extraordinarily dedicated. All of his recipes are written down to the gram, to the minute, to the degree. Everything is listed step by step. That's a science chef. I respect that so much. But it doesn't really matter unless the result is really good. So here's one of the surprises. This is jajangmyeon. Jajangmyeon is like a Korean Chinese dish. Normally, it's pretty sweet, really oily. The noodles are kind of overcooked sometimes. But the problem is, it just makes you feel bad after you eat it. But not my friend's version. <laughs> I'm smiling because I'm so proud of his cooking and his food. I don't even like this dish that much. It's really something I wouldn't eat just because it's just not very palatable, except this version. So first I'm going to try the sauce, just the sauce by itself. You'll notice, hey, wait a minute, hold on. That sauce isn't sticky. It's not gloppy. It's not goopy. Hold, whoa, what's, what's the deal? It's rich. It's a little salty, which is what it should be. Almost no sweetness at all. It's more similar to the authentic Chinese zhajiangmian in Beijing that you'd find, which I don't really actually like that dish that much either because that one's really salty. But this dish is kind of a happy medium between the Beijing one and the Korean one. Got your noodles in there. And how are the noodles? Are they good? Oh, these look like jolmyeon. Jolmyeon, jol, jol, jol means chewy. So these noodles should be nice and chewy because it means literally translated jolmyeon is chewy noodle. Mm. Yeah, those are chewy noodles. Those are really good. I know I've got black bean on my face. Uh, I'm not even going to wipe it off, forget it. So the other twist he does is he puts on pork belly on this one, a little bit of kind of charred pork belly. Mmm, mmm. Wow. Not gamey at all. Tender, smoky, great pork flavor. But how does it go with the noodles? Mm. It goes beautifully with the noodles. Of course it does. This is the finest Korean jajangmyeon I've ever had. For the reasons. Great pork belly. The sauce is not sticky or gummy or gloppy or full of oil or too sweet. It's a nice, full, rich, savory noodle dish that is more reminiscent of the original dish from Beijing, but with the Korean twist. We don't want the original dish in Beijing because we can go to Beijing and eat that. We want to eat this to remind us that we're in Korea, we're in Daegu, we're at my friend's restaurant eating the best version of this dish. And I'm one happy individual. Now I've mixed the dish together, so it looks just like one big, slightly chocolatey sauce. You know, if I didn't know and I just were to walk upon this sauce, I might think this is a dessert noodle with a chocolate sauce. Mm, mm. Crispy onions. Mm. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> The first dish I ever had at my friend's place here is this one, bibim naengmyeon, which means spicy cold mixed noodles. So why did I come here? I was kind of cruising around this market and I came down here into the basement and I looked and wow, his place was really busy and almost everyone was getting this dish. Um, hmm, I'm in Pegu, they're famous for spicy, a lot of garlic. I'm wondering if this is going to be a really good version. So I got the noodles, I tried the sauce. And yeah, it's a really good version. Oh, it's spicy. Absolutely it is. But it's got a nice balance of some fruitiness in there as well. Mm, so it kind of averages everything and evens it all out. All right, there's the egg. There are the Korean pear. Here are the, the shredded cucumbers. Of course, there's the sauce. And then there are the buckwheat noodles. Yeah. 
This takes a little while to mix up, by the way, so I'm going to use two chopsticks because it's far more efficient for mixing. Do -do 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 -do. Even though it's more efficient, it still takes a while. I don't want to cut these noodles because I like really long, chewy noodles. Almost there. Almost there. A little bit more mix. Playing with the food. At this point, I'm actually just having a good time. All right, down to business. Big chunk of the noodles. Mmm. A perfect balance for bibim naemyeon. First you get the spice, then you get a little bit of acidity. That acidity comes from, there's actual fruit that's pureed in this sauce here. Korean pears, Korean apples, and of course there's pear slices in here too. Then you get a little bit more complexity in there because it's got a little savory note to it. And just a bit of sweetness, just a tiny little bit, just to balance everything out. Nothing that's coying, just right. And it's so much fun to eat because you get a big chunk like this and you just dive right in and grab a bite. Mmm. This is exactly what bibim naengmyeon should be. I wouldn't change anything with this. Onu to maeseyo, nanen meon go chuaheyo. Ne. Very spicy, okay. 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 Very, very spicy one, Heo. Yes. You got a Chongyan gochu, so you are a gochu karu. Chongyan gochu, eh? Chongyan gochu. Hanguge so, Twegero machine and gochu, yeah. Okay. 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 All my out. Chongy back one. 네. 네, 고맙습니다. 아, 네. 네, 고맙습니다. Oh, 멸치. Oh, 멸치. Wow, 처음 들었어요. Miochi kimbap? Uh, spicy miochi kimbap. Wow. Tengcho. What hell? Oh, bulgogi. Oh, here are the two that you recommended. These are the spiciest. Forget this little stick. I'm going to pick it up with my paws. Okay, this one. Mmm. Nice kick. Mmm. No more much sale. Chincha meon go yo. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. This one is actually pretty darn spicy. But then again, we are in Tegu, and Tegu is known for being really spicy. That's why I love this place so much. Wow. That is not medium spicy. This is spicy, spicy. Ah. Mmm. The texture of the rice is great. The game on the outside, which is the seaweed paper, oil just enough to keep it from breaking or drying out. Wow. Great rice texture. Chewy rice. That's what you want. You don't want soft rice. You don't want hard rice. You want chewy rice. She nailed it. Mm. The second one she suggested is the miochi gimpap. Kimbap, of course, is this is gim on the outside, bop is the rice on the inside. So this is the seaweed paper rolled around rice, and then the inside filling is miochi. Miochi are little dry anchovies. Never heard of this before, never had it before. 
Mmm, texture is great. Wow, you got the whole the whole anchovy in there, the whole little mini anchovy. Nice and spicy, beautiful texture on the rice, beautiful texture on um, the seaweed paper on the outside, the game. Mmm. Wow, can't go wrong probably at this booth. You can get anything here and it's gonna be good. Okay, I'm not a huge Gimpop fan, but because these are so good, I wanna get one of everything she's got. She's got a lot of interesting and unusual, unique combinations for Gimpop. So I'm gonna let her know a compliment, which is the rice texture is just perfect here. Tanshinan igo mandala sayo, pap, shikami, Chincha, chincha chosam nida, aju chua heo. Cholgi cholgi teo. Yeah. Mate mune, shikami de mune. Oh. Ta chua heo. Spicy. No spicy, okay. Wow, yong lo chao heo. Stuff on a stick, that's what this shop is famous for. So they take it off the stick and they give you a little toothpick. This one is the blood sausage. Now this is stewed in a spicy sauce, and I've never seen this before. The man has a lot of creative food at this market. Mmm. Mm hmm This gives me the I'm in Tegu feeling. It's spicy, great texture, expertly cooked. Mmm. And a little bit of sauce in there. Mmm. Don't waste that sauce. That is so good. Wow. Another creative dish. Expertly done. Wow, the go oil. We're back again because yours are the best in Korea and one was not enough. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. You got Sege so Hodokio. Chincha Chongmalio. Yeah. Two uniquely different styles of the Korean dessert hodok, the crispy one and the soft one. So let's try the soft one first. Soft one smells really nice, a little bit of cinnamon in there, some sugar, some nuts normally. Mmm. It's good, it's chewy. Very nice. Ooh, a lot of cinnamon in that one. Now, this is the crispy one. See that? Nice and crispy. When I bite into it, mm -hmm. I miss the filling. Ah, time for another bite. Oh, there we go. See how plump and fluffy that is right there? It's not undercooked, it's not sticky inside. It's fully done, it's airy, it's puffy, and bonus, sunflower seeds. 
that gives you even more crunch inside for me because it's so crispy outside so fluffy inside just wonderfully delicious this is the finest hodok i have ever had this is hodok perfection